Welcome back to another episode of RFID Made Simple. In this week's work from home edition, what if I told you that golf clubs were the key to answering one of the most common questions when it comes to RFID hardware? Well, stick around because you don't want to miss it. So a question I received all the time as an RFID engineer is, does sticking with one brand for all your hardware have any benefit from an RF standpoint? To answer this, we're gonna take a look at my golf clubs. One, because it's what I had lying around the house, but two, because it gets my point across. Now, you don't need to know anything about golf to follow me with this. Now, say you're buying golf equipment for the first time and you decide to buy Titleist irons like mine. And now's actually a good time to mention that this video is not sponsored by Titleist, TaylorMade, or any other golf course, but if it was, that would be great. So smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and maybe I can get a free set of golf clubs from this. In all seriousness, you go with Titleist irons, but now when you look at going to your driver, you have the option. Do you go with the brand loyalty and going with the Titleist driver? Or do you go with something a little different, something that maybe fits your budget, more of like a Callaway driver? The question you should be asking is, well, which driver is gonna help me play better golf? Well, in this particular case, it's not gonna matter. I've never played golf before. I could have Tiger Woods clubs and still not be able to hit the ball very well. As a new golfer, it doesn't matter if you use the same brand clubs, driver, balls, shoes, bag. You still have to get up in front of the ball, tee it up, and hit it. So how does this relate to selecting RFID equipment? First of all, finding one company that manufactures chips, inlays, labels, readers, antennas, it's not possible because it doesn't exist today. If it does, someone please comment below because I would love to know that company. But the key word I said is manufactures all of those things because there's many companies out there that offer readers and hardware and labels and chips and all that, but when people are asking for the brand loyalty and does brand offer an advantage of RF over not, they're typically looking to see if there's some sort of electrical RF advantage from using, say, this brand's antenna, this brand's chip. So let's take a look at one of the main chip manufacturers in the world today, Impinge. Impinge also manufactures readers and antennas. So the question would be, is there an advantage to using an Impinge chip in the inlay with an impinge reader and an impinge antenna. Because I'm not an impinge engineer, I'm not gonna say that there's no tactical advantage to using an impinge chip with their readers and antennas. However, as a R former RFID engineer, I do know that the physics is the same. The reader has to transmit the signal, the antenna has to on the antenna on the inlay has to be tuned properly to receive that signal, generate the power towards the chip in order for the tag to respond. That physics is all the same regardless of what chip, inlay, reader, antenna that you're using. That has to line up. I think it's most important to focus on fine tuning the inlay selection in the RFID system because if that inlay is mistuned slightly, the power transmitted from the reader isn't going to be efficiently able to power that inlay and emit a response anyway. So making sure you select an inlay that's tuned properly for the substrate it's applied to is going to help efficiency in your RF system. One more example would be to look at a drill. This drill is from the brand DeWalt. If I were to use this drill with DeWalt branded screws, am I going to better be able to build my project than if I were to use a different unbranded screw or if I used a Milwaukee drill? Now, without getting into the big debate, Milwaukee versus DeWalt, I think you understand the premise of my question saying, no, the physics are the same of me screwing a DeWalt screw into a board or any other screw. The physics is the same. The brand isn't gonna have a big impact on the performance because the physics is all the same. Instead of getting hung up on the brand name extensively, it's more important to look at some of the specs and what the need is in your RF system. 
some of the specs that are important when looking at your RFID hardware, especially on like the reader and antenna side, is you need to make sure you understand the gain that you're looking for out of your antennas. Gain is essentially what identifies the interrogation zone of your RF system. So a higher gain is going to allow you to read tags that are further away, or a shorter gain is gonna allow you to read a wider area of tags in your RF system. Polarity is another importance, or polarization of your antennas. I did a whole video on polarization, so if you wanna check that out, take a look at the video, which I'll link right up here in the video. So with that, thanks for joining me in this week's episode of RFID Made Simple. Make sure you leave some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want made simple.